Hello everyone, my name is Arun. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a simple movie recommendation system. So the model I'm going to build is based on a content-based filtering. Let's say there are two user and a user A is following the pattern and the user B is also about to follow the similar pattern. So we automatically suggest him what the user A has picked up on that time. So this kind of filtering is called a content-based filtering. Let's to sum up, content-based filtering as a system that seeks to predict the rating or a preference a user would give it to an item. So let us get started on the coding part. So now I am going to import pandas for our data manipulation purposes. And I am going to import numpy also to deal with the large dimensional arrays. Okay, now I'm going to read my data. So the data I have imported from the Kaggle and it has the credits and the movie details. So I'm going to write pv dot read csv and I'm going to documents documents as credits dot csv. Credit order in front of it. Okay, so here you can take a look at my data. So this credit files have the movie ID and the title of the movie and it has some cast and crew details. So now I'm going to read my another data which has movie details. Now you can see the details about the movie data set. Um, yes, movies. So here you can see it has a budget of the movie, it has a journal, it offers the home page ID and the, some keywords. So some other details about the movie, even popularity also it comes up with. Now we are going to build a movie recommendation system using this data to give a user what is the next movie that he can watch based on his watching pattern. So the first thing I am going to do here is I am going to merge my two data sets. So here I am going to write final equal to and I am going to use pandas and merge. Sorry, pandas dot merge and I am going to give my data files to merge. So what it will do is it will merge based on the similar patterns in the data sets. So once I execute it, you can see it is completed. Now I am going to execute the final. So you can see here my movies are merged based on its uh, pattern. So here you can see the movie ID and the ID have the similar data. So Pandas accordingly merged the data sets for me. So you can see here, yeah, I think everything looks good now. So it is merged properly. Now I'm going to select my data that I'm going to use it to build a model. So I'm going to write final and I'm going to select the columns that I'm going to need. So I'm going to need the overview column. Next, I'm going to need the original title as well. Next, I'm going to need the ID column as well, ID of the movie and I'm going to need a genre as well. Next, original language. So these are the columns I'm going to need to run my model. Yeah. So now I'm going to check is there any null value inside these columns. So in order to get a better recommendation, we must remove all the null values so that the model won't confuse with the. So So this will give me the number of null columns in the. So. I think the overview have three null columns. Okay, now I'm going to drop all the null values. I'm going to drop now. So once I execute it, you can see all the null values are gone. I'm going to rerun this block to see whether it's there any null value. So no, the overview is now zero. So that means that all the null values are dropped. So after dropping the null values, I'm going to check for any duplicates. So I'm going to write final dot duplicate and I'm going to count it. So I'm putting value counts. 
so here you can see the true has a six that means that it has six duplicates so right now i'm going to drop the duplicates as well so i'm going to write final equal to final drop drop duplicates so it will drop the duplicates and i'm going to keep the first one i'm going to write in place also watch so it will drop all the duplicates okay i have to remove the dot yeah i'm good so if i rerun this block it will give me yeah there are no true values that means all the duplicates have been dropped out so next i'm going to import tfid vectorizer so it is a nlp thing it is used to convert the text into vectors so right now i'm going to import it from sqlearn sqlearn dot future extraction dot text and i'm going to import tf id vectorizer so now i'm going to use my tf id vectorizer so here i'm going to specify my variable t equal to tf idf vct and i'm going to give as a my minimum df is 3 and i'm going to put my max futures is equal to now and i'm going to put my strip accents is equal to unicode and i'm going to specify my analyzer is equal to the word and token pattern i'm going to write my token pattern as r and colon w and i'm going to put my curly braces and i'm going to specify so this is my token pattern over here and i'm going to write n-gram range which is nothing but one comma three and i'm going to use the stop words as set to english and i'm going to give a record to here so guys in case if you want to know more about the parameters you can always go to google and search for tf idea vectorizer parameter it will give you the summary so here i have specified my engram branch as one two three so this will help my model to group similar words in the overview column i have specified the stop words as english this feature will remove all the repeated words like uh, articles and the pronouns etc so the other parameters like strip accents token pattern and analyzer this will get rid of all the unnecessary things like punctuation marks and the conjunctions from the column so now i'm going to use the fit transform function to convert this column into sparse matrix so what is sparse matrix is it has a lot of zeros and non-zeros values those non-zeros values occur because we use the tf idf vectorizer so all the non-zeros these uh, values lies between 0 and 1 so i'm going to use my fit transform and i'm going to convert it to sparse matrix so here i'm going to write tvf underscore matrix equal to i'm going to use the tv variable to transform function right here and my df name and what's the column which is overview so once i execute it okay it doesn't have any attribute fit transform okay it should be okay f o r i think now we are good okay here i think it should go under small okay on seeing the values we can see here there are more than 4800 records and more than 10,000 columns so these are formed because we have used the n n gram range over here so next i am going to use the sigmoid function in order to find the similarity between the columns in the overview so i am going to import sigmoid kernel from scalar from scalar dot matrix dot pairwise pairwise import as i use sigmoid kernel 
so now we are going to find out the sigmoid kernel so i'm going to use sig variable and i'm going to import sigmoid kernel function so which basically finds out the similarity between the movies so here we have tfp matrix i'm going to put twice and i'm going to execute it so once i run the sig variable you can see here these are the similarities of uh, records present in the overview column so it usually lies between zeros and ones so that is how the sigmoid function works it will find the similarities and it will map it under zeros and ones as you know there is no point in recommending the same movie twice to the user so we are going to eliminate the duplicates in our data set by using by creating a very unique index so i'm going to create a unique index that means that i'm going to drop all the duplicates inside the data set so i'm going to specify it as a index one and i'm going to use the pandas for this job pandas dot series final dot index comma index equal to final and i'm going to put my column name over here which is a original title so this is where the names of the movies are present so i'm going to drop duplicates inside that so i will execute this so now we can see the column okay so this has created the unique index inside the column original title now i think the most of the job is done now i am going to write a function that is going to predict our similar movies so how it will work is we have to write this function so it will take the movie title from the user and it will find its unique index and then it will post the index alongside with through the sigmoid object so which will give the range of similarity of uh, range of values then the model will again convert those values into the list and then we will be getting that list with the recommended movies so here i'm going to write write a function so df give a recommendation and i'm going to put the title and i'm going to put a sig equal to sig now i'm going to post the title to corresponding index so i'm going to write idx equal to index one and the title over here and now after that i'm going to calculate the sigmoid score so which is nothing but a similarity score for the index so i am going to write sigmoid score equal to so list enumerate enumerate sig and i'm going to put the value over here so now i'm going to short the movies based on the score so i'm going to write sigmoid score equal to shorter i'm going to use the shorter keyword here and i'm going to use sigmoid and i'm going to write the lambda function here now i'm going to return the score of five most similar movies so sigmoid score equal to so again sigmoid score equal six so after that i'm going to loop the movie indexes movie and equal to zero or Or so at the end i'm going to return the recommended movies So that's it guys now if we call the function with the movie name and it will give the top recommendations so here i'm going to call the function movie 
okay give recommendation and i am going to call a movie i am going to ask for a recommendation of the movie spectre yes this is spectre so once i executed you will get the movie recommendation that is similar to the movie spectre so here the recommends are never say never again skyfall thunderball from the russia with love quantum of solar so these are the movies that are very similar to the movie spectre so guys this is how we can build a simple movie recommendation system using python thank you for watching